हेलो गाइस इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल बी बिल्डिंग अ सिंपल ब्लॉगिंग काइंड ऑफ एप्लीकेशन इन टेन मिनट्स यूजिंग नोट चेयर्स एक्सप्रेस एंड मॉन्गो डी बी सो दिस इज़ द डेमो ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन डेट वी विल बी बिल्डिंग हेयर सो आई कैन हैव इट एज मैनी पोस्ट एड एज आई वॉन्ट दिस इज़ द इंटरफेस देर इज़ अ स्मॉल टेक्सट एरिया आउट देर हेयर आई कैन जस्ट एंटर माई ब्लॉग पोस्ट एंड क्लिक द एड पोस्ट बटन एज आई क्लिक दिस बटन यू विल सी दैट ऑल दीज पोस्ट आर इंस्टेंटली बीन एडिड एंड शोन ऑन टू द स्क्रीन so let's start building this project from scratch so now in order to build this project guys just go to desktop here and, and create a new folder here let's suppose i name it as blog here and just open this folder inside your command line and here we will be initializing a simple command which is npm init dash y this will be generating the package or json file with the default options now we will install our dependency so npm install first dependency will be express this will, this will be our server and second dependency will be ejs this is a template engine for rendering out html documents inside node.js applications the third dependency will be node mod this will restart our server when we make any kind of changes and fourth dependency will, will be body parser so this will be useful when, whenever we are required to get the form values and last will be the mongoose so this will be the library which will be communicating with the database that we have mongodb and press enter here this will install these dependencies so this will take some time and i will be back whenever these dependencies are installed so now you can see that guys all these dependencies have been installed now i can just open this inside my visual studio and uh, this will generate this package or json file let me just see so you can just use any text editor of your choice so this is the package or json file you can see that guys all these dependencies are present here inside dependencies section and now we just need to make a start script so right here in the script section just write a start script start script and this just initialize it to node mod and server.js and also here instead of index.js i will be replacing here server.js this will be the starting point of the application and now just create this server.js and here we will be bringing first of all express and uh, this will be required express and we will be making a simple express app so initializing it to express here and uh, simple app dot listen i will be listening on port 5000 and a callback function is also there arrow function here we can just print out on the console here console log server is listening on port 5000 so now if i just wanted to start my app here i can just give a command here which is npm start it will start the project you will also see a message that is server is listening on port 5000 you can see that and we now we just need to import our uh, mongoose module also so require mongoose and we just need to connect to our database so for that we can just uh, use a method of connect here here we can just pass the url of our mongodb url so here inside double quotes we can just write mongodb colon slash slash localhost and the port number it uses is 27017 followed by your uh, database name so i have created already a database here you can see that post uh, this uh, database is blog here the uh, database name is blog and inside this we have created a collection or table post here so we just need to pass the database name that is blog here and after that we just need to pass some options which is use new url parser use new url parser to true and also a second option use unified topology to also true so just pass these options and you will be connected to your database and after that we also need to import uh, the body parser module so require body parser and after that we just need to after we initialize our app we just need to use this middleware so i can just write here app.use body parser.json and also app.use body parser uh, dot url encode it and inside this we will be passing this extended property sorry inside double double braces inside extended to true that's it 
So this will initialize our body pass a middleware so that we can just use the form values inside our application. And now after that, so now guys after that we just need to set our view engine which is EJS. So for that just after it you can just write here app.set inside this you can pass here view engine and comma inside this you can just pass EJS. So this will set the engine to be EJS and now in order to load a file here you just need to create a folder here of views inside this we will be creating a file let's suppose inside this index.ejs so this is the extension here i can just write uh, hello world and now let me just load this file so when we get make a get request to the, our home route i will be requesting this file so request response this will be arrow function and here we can just write uh, res response.render and we can just render this file so here i can just pass index and no need to pass the extension so now if i just reload the application it will already reload the application and now if i just open the route here which is the local host the port number is 5000 you can see that it is loading this file which is hello world this is uh, there inside index.ejs and now we are successfully loading this file here you can see that so now inside this file guys index.ejs we can have a simple form in order to submit our post here blog post so here we can just write a form tag so this will be going to action i will be providing action attribute of add post and also a method also so which will be post we are posting data so inside this we will be having a text area field so let me just give give a name to it of uh, let's suppose body of the blog here so i will be accessing it in the server side by this name property and after that we will be having a simple input type is equal to submit and the value will be add post so just close it and now if i just refresh it you will see that it will now contain a form here simple form here i can just write anything and click the add post button i haven't created this route here so now i will create this route here in my server.js file so now guys before making the post request we will have to define our data here inside schema so here we will be declaring a new variable post schema and here we will be initializing a new method which is there inside mongoose which is schema so inside this first of all we have a simple field of body here so this will be of type string so we have defined our schema now we now we just need to create a model here which will be post here and uh, there inside mongoose there is a model method so we just need to use it and pass a collection name so inside our we have this collection of post here so we just need to pass the same name and also we just need to pass our schema this is post schema here and now we have successfully defined our schema and our model here so now guys after defining the schema and our model we can just make a post request to this route which is add post we have defined this route inside our index.ejs file whenever we submit this form we are going to this route here add post so here we will be having our request and response this will be arrow function and here we first of all have to get our data which is post data the user has submitted through form we can just uh, make a new model of post here and inside this we can just pass request.body so we are grabbing this by this name attribute that we have given to this text area and after that we can just uh, call a function of on the model post.save and inside this we can just uh, pass our sorry in this on this uh, variable post data i can just call a method dot save so this returns a promise we can just handle this by dot then so inside this we can have our result so this will be arrow function so we can now this will contain the result here and we can just redirect the user to the home page and if any kind of error is there we can just catch this error so th there will be error here so this will be a arrow function and in that case we can just uh, return a status code of 400 and we can just send a message to the user unable to save data so you can see that
and now if I just refresh the application guys no error is there and uh, if I just reload the page and submit any kind of post here and click the add post button you will see that in the console we haven't got any kind of message here let me just see oh sorry we haven't console log the result here that is why it is not showing us so just console log the result here and now we will see the result which is coming back from mongodb so now if i just write anything and click the add post button and now you will see that guys it has successfully inserted into the database and it is giving the id and actual body that we have written here you can see that and now we just need to display this data inside our index.ejs file on the home page on this in order to uh, send this data which is post array so inside our get route we just need to execute a simple function on our model which is post dot find so we just need to find all the post here so just pass a empty curly bracket so inside this the second argument will be the callback function it will have two variables the actual error or the post so this will be arrow function and here you just need to response dot render first of all pass the template name which is index dot ejs and secondly just pass the post array just post and now we are just sending this uh, post array in, inside our index dot ejs file and now we just need to make a for loop and display all these posts so right here before the form so now guys right here at the top inside our index.ejs file we just need to declare our for loop so put angular bracket and percentage sign this is a way by which we can just embed ejs so we will be declaring for loop let i is equal to 0 i smaller than post dot length i plus plus and we just need to close this also so put a percentage sign again and close this and now after that we just need to make an article tag so inside this article tag we will be embedding our paragraph so inside this we just need to put another angular bracket percentage sign is equal to and now we can just write uh, post uh, in the square brackets we can just write uh, our i variable here and dot body we just need to print out the body of the post that's it and uh, also we just need to close it so put a, a percentage sign and angular bracket just to close it and also put a curly bracket the starting curly bracket of the for loop and also just repeat it for the just wrap it inside this tags here so this is our for loop guys so we are just looping through the error that we are passed to this file here post post dot length and we are printing out the body of the post simple and now if i just refresh the application no error is there and now if i just go back to the route you will see that one error is there it is telling me that post is not defined sorry guys it needs to be post just add a s here so just make this change here and now if i just refresh the application you will see that guys all these posts are di displaying here and now if i wanted to add a new post i can just add it and instantly it would be displayed on the browser so in this way we can just build a simple blogging kind of a application in node.js express and mongodb so thanks very much for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next video